Well, let, let me say something here a bit more sp speculative, which means just imagining or thinking out loud crazy possibilities. But if, and this is really important to my work as a neuroscientist, because why am I doing this? Well, because it's fascinating, but also because I think it can help us answer a really fundamental question in neuroscience, which is a simple one is, what is a brain? What does a brain do? And some people say, well, it's a computer and it just processes information and it creates our perceptions and so on. But if a brain, it's not so much a computer produ producing images, but more like a filter or a prism that's refracting and reflecting light and making it just, you know, appear in different colors and, and maybe capturing or another, another metaphor could be a radio is a device that it's tuning into something that's not itself producing, that's out there. When? Well, if the brain is that and not a computer, then... Again, I could imagine that a blind person from sight during a near-death experience somehow can see. Why? Because maybe the filtering mechanism that is his or her brain, despite being damaged or not functional when it comes to sight, physical sight, as a filter now, it lets in this color of light that is, to use metaphorically, the image of a prism, right? Or the radio. Maybe the radio is not broken. It's just that it wasn't dialed there. And, and so I think most of these phenomena, remote viewing, lucid dreaming, extraocular vision, and so on, the, again, like arrows, they all point to this fascinating new way of conceiving what a brain is, which is more like a filter than a magic lamp that produces everything.